Water for Josh. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Glasgow. Josh Taylor retains his undisputed titles. Uh, how are you feeling, Josh? Yeah, good. You know, I'm slightly pissed off with the, the performance that I put on, but, you know, obviously happy I got the right result. You know, the right man won in the end. It was closer than, you know, everyone expected. Everyone expected me to blow Jack out of the water. Um, so I think that's why everyone's surprised, you know, at the result. But the right man won the fight. I think it took uh, a bit of time for you to settle into the fight. Um, why do you think Jack won those early rounds? I don't I think I was just a little bit too hesitant, you know, um, a little bit too tense, trying a little bit too hard. Um, yeah, a little bit too tense and too uh, tentative, you know, with the, the pressure of the, the the expectation of being back at home again. But I, I, I loosened into the fight and then I started taking over in the second half of the fight. Josh, I did ask you in the week, like you had a million other questions about your weight, etc., and how you felt. So just firstly, how did you make weight? Was it was it comfortable as always? Yeah, you know, to be honest, I've got no excuses. I felt okay. I made the weight good. You know, I just said it there in the press conference. My nutritionist, John Poppy, just made the weight so much easier, you know. But, you know, with this camp coming into camp, I put on, obviously I was training in the off-season and that as well. I put on a little bit of size, I put on a little bit of strength. I'm now 31 years old, so getting back down to 140 was tough. And I put that picture up yesterday on my on my Twitter of six months six months ago in Vegas weighing in to yesterday. You could see, obviously I looked gaunt in the face, but I had no tan, I was pasty white in Vegas, I was tanned. But you could see the difference in the size and the shape and the definition from yesterday to six months ago. You know, six months ago I was like that. Yesterday I was thicker and bigger and stronger. And it's it's getting harder for me to make the weight. So 147 next. 147 next for sure. That's my last one. Yeah. Josh, first time you've been put down in your career. Uh, just talk me through that knockdown. Ach, I was just I was got I got caught down down low and he hit me and you know and went down. You know, so I was pissed off it. You know, obviously got caught with switching off a little bit and he, he caught me while I was down there with a good shot fair play it was a good shot but I got up I was fine you know uh, just pissed off pissed off at it okay, no. Josh you've admitted that wasn't your best performance by far at all um, I have to say obviously you felt you won the fight and that's how you feel uh, you told that to Jack after as well being honest most people at ringside um, and the media and people online had Jack winning that fight so what was your case for winning that fight I thought I won the fight, you know, I thought I took over in the second half of the fight. I thought I scored the bigger punches. I thought it was a boss, you know, pushing him back, hitting him with the bigger, heavier shots. And I thought I thought I took over in the second half. I thought I thought I won the second half of the fight. It's a very close scorecards, one had it for Jack as well. Did you think they were fair, those scorecards? Yeah, it was quite a close fight to be honest, you know, and I think the me getting a point taken off um, made it even closer. I don't know, I, don't, I really don't understand why uh, Marcus McDonnell um, took the point off me. I don't know why he done that. You know, I sort of at the end of the bell went like that to Jack. Well done, and he he said that I hit him. He said that I hit him. I says, "What are you doing?" He says, "Well done, like that." So I tapped him in the stomach like that, and um, he took the fucking point off me. And so that made that made the that made the obviously the scorecards a little a little closer than than the, than they were. He had a point taken off as well for excessive holding. Um, yeah, what do you think about Jack's holding that fight? Jack was very negative. You know, he was very he was trying to spoil an awful lot. You know, every time I was trying to get close, he was spoiling and holding on tight. You know, and just holding and grappling. You with me? You know, um, it was very frustrating. You know, and um, the, the referee did the right job to take a point off him because he was kept every time I got in close, he was holding on for dear life and spoiling me. You know, he was he wasn't sort of being defensive or anything like that. He was coming in and holding me and 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 holding on, hugging on, hugging on to me. Last one. How's the eye? That is fine, you know, obviously it doesn't look great, you know, uh, one punch and a few head clashes, you know, I'm always getting fucking cut, it's just a nightmare, I'm, I'm not handsome anymore, I'm losing my good looks. I think Daniel's alright with you, you're getting married soon, aren't you? I'm getting married now, so she's stuck with me now, Big, I'm going to look like Shrek soon if I keep going. Okay, Josh Taylor, we look forward to your move to 147 and we'll speak soon, alright, take care. Cheers.